<laughs> we made a friend already and we just got here. He also might be dinner, so. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> What's up guys? We have been on the move. We are currently in Florida. We made it cross country. That's right. <laughs> we are here in Panama City to explore all the great beaches. And how Just how beautiful it is here, you know? It is stunning. I've never been to the Panhandle of Florida before. I've never seen this park, even though I used to live in Florida. I'm super excited to be here. So Visit Florida brought us here and we're super excited to check this place out. The first thing we're gonna do is go to a brewery because it is hot out here and girls thirsty. <laughs> yeah, let's go get some brews. Let's yeah. Check it out. Mm, I like that wheat beer. Do you mind if I drink this whole thing? Go for it. <laughs> I know we're supposed to share, but. Mm. So the name of this place is history class. So now you can tell your family, your mom, <laughs> you just went to history class. And uh, we got mom, a little are tasting. You proud. <laughs> yeah. mm. So they've got a front and the back. Be sure to come to the back because they've got a great little vibe. They've got cornhole over there and just outdoor seating. And it's a brand new bar in Panama City. So it's like updated, it's chic, it's really hip. Cheers. She's drinking again, isn't she? Virtue right here underneath my feet, so oh, I'm step on there. <laughs> she doesn't need any help. She's solid. We made it to Shell Island, which yeah. is an iconic stop here in Panama City Beach area. You can and only get here by boat. Look at this. So cool, but this is really neat. Only way to access this is by boat or sea do. We're going fast. Really cool, really beautiful, and like Clyde said before, this water temperature is really nice. Oh, it's so nice, and so you get here. Well, we got here by access of the bay, and now we walked across the island to the Gulf. And it's so cool, and the water is so warm, and it's clear. And I like to play. <laughs> This is fun. Let's come here again. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. That was amazing. That was not your average sunset cruise. That was not your That's average it. sunset cruise. So that was Josh and Lauren from Heritage Excursions. These guys are fantastic. If you ever want to go deep sea fishing or maybe a little private sunset cruise, check them out. They're actually going to be dropping off some fish early in the morning for us. <laughs> To cook tomorrow. I'm so, so excited. Yeah. So tomorrow, when I open up the Airstream door, there's gonna be some grouper waiting for us to eat it. I'm so pumped. Good morning. <laughs> Just like Josh said, we dropped off a bucket of fish. So <laughs> now we have to figure out how we're gonna fit this into our freezer because this is a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. This is like four to five pounds worth of, he said it was grouper, I think, right? As you can tell by the lens fogging up, it's hot out here today. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. What's up, everyone? It is fish fry time. Thanks to Josh, he dropped off the grouper. Now it's time to actually cook it. Okay, so we use some panko, some salt, some pepper, and some garlic. Super simple, but it's gonna be mm, tasty. And then we're gonna top it off with a lot of butter. So we've got our grouper here. We're chopping some garlic here. We're gonna cook it up right here in the Airstream. Super hot. So we have our grouper fillets ready to go. Panko crusted, salt, pepper, garlic. And it's basically just been sauteed and all of that. And we're gonna top it off with just a little bit of lemon juice. Bon appetit. We just arrived in Panama City Beach and I'm so excited to be here. I've seen photos of the white sand beaches and the blue turquoise waters. 
and it's just stunning. So I can't wait to see it from my own eyes. But we just pulled up to the Panama City Beach RV Resort. Scott is plugging us in and getting us powered up. And then we're gonna go head out for a day of adventures. Super pumped, let's go. We made it to the light sand beaches of Panama City Beach. This place is absolutely gorgeous. We are at St. Andrews State Park, and this is the place to come check it out if you want to have the white sand beach and some privacy. This is absolutely beautiful. It was what, $8 to get in? It was only $8 to get in, and you get these pristine white sand beaches and crystal clear water, and it's everything you think of when you think of the perfect beach vacation. Yes, absolutely love it. It's hot, the water's warm, beautiful place. Love checking this out. Let's get in the water. Let's go. Some ceviche. Oh, baby. A little shrimp ceviche. So, this morning we are at Finn's, which is a local state. I mean, it's known for its fish tacos, ceviche, and uh, it is a cute little bungalow. Yeah, it's like a little beach shack, super laid back vibes, like a little reggae vibes with the red, green, and yellow colors. I hear the music starting. Oh, it's early in Panama City Beach, but the party starts already. I love it. Got some fish tacos on the way. Can't wait. Yeah. Hi guys, we made it to the activities portion of today. Jet ski time. For those of you who don't know, Colette absolutely loves jet skis, especially in the ocean because she's a huge shark fan. Isn't that right? Love sharks so much. She oh loves God. sharks. Ah! Colette's a little terrified right now. She said it over and over again, don't go too fast. <laughs> to get some Indiana donuts in Florida. So when we first pulled up to Papa Joe's, we saw another Airstream and we were like, what is that? And if an Airstream couldn't get any cuter, all of a sudden, this one started selling donuts. Hi, so what are you guys best known for? Um, our French toast is yeah. probably our best seller. So the donuts are finally here. They're so beautiful. Da 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 da. So this is their French toast. It's like a croissant, it's not a donut. They Should it be like Lady in the Trampet? Or... Oh, <laughs> oh I see why. Mm, it's so flaky. Look at that. Just, um, I, mm. That's a good donut. You know when it's so good that you have to close your eyes and you taste it more intensely then? The consistency, the smell of the sugar, wow. All right, the results are in, they're delicious. Amazing. <laughs> you can tell by the sugar coma look on Coco's face. I'm not even, I didn't even have my favorite one yet. I think it's favorite. Let's try. I think I had the Oreo, the French toast, the blueberry, let's try and sprinkles. They're known for the French toast. That was the best. That's mm -hmm. phenomenal. And? It was very good. Which one? I think the French toast is still my favorite though. Yeah. It was probably all over me, but it's worth it. So they're like little croissants. Big croissants. Big croissants. Not little croissants. Go ahead. So as of now, 
They are based out of Evansville, but they are popping up everywhere. You can find them in Panama City. I think you can find them on the West Coast very soon. I don't know. We'll put some locations or maybe their website on there, but this place is really, really good. How good is it? Scott has powdered sugar all over him. And it's even in your beard. It's probably, <laughs> probably everywhere. I can't even get it off. I'm shaving it for later. Good choice. Very smart. Gosh, it's beautiful here. just arrived to Up the Creek Raw Bar, which is an institution for oysters in Apalachicola. Now, fun fact, 90% of Florida's oysters are produced right here in Apalachicola, and these are some of the best around. So let's go have all of them. Come on, and a beer, right? You have to. Okay guys, we just got our oysters, and I'm so excited. So we ordered half a dozen raw oysters just to get our pallets ready. And then we ordered what they're known for, which is the Moscow. Now this has creamy horseradish and caviar on top. Sounds fancy. But it's some down home good cooking here. No frills, no fuss. We've got some beers and plastic cups and we have a beautiful view of the water with some boats coming in and out. This is the way to spend your afternoon or probably your entire day when you're in Apalachicola. got to St. George Island, which already is so cute. Look at these colorful houses behind us. We just had to pull over and take some photos. But St. George Island is a must visit when you're in Apalachicola. I mean, this is a place where things are just a little slower. Life is a little bit easier as well. Yep. So we are headed to St. George Island State Park to check out these beautiful beaches. That was a squeaky beach. So, as we were walking out on the beach, we heard a noise and it was the sand squeaking underneath our feet. It feels really fun on the toes. So we made it to St. George Island State Park and as you can tell, probably by around us, it is another private secluded beach. Not private, but secluded it kind nonetheless. It feels private though, because there's barely anyone here, which is amazing. So yeah, let's say it's our own private beach, why don't we? <laughs> we got here, get scared at first because it's a little bit of a storm, but it's one of those tropical storms. It just kind of rushes by within 10, 15 minutes. So everything's good, safe, sun's out, waves are here, and it's white sand beaches. We are ending our time in the Panhandle, in the sleepiest of all sleepy towns, Carabao. Behind us, famous Carabao Light Tower, but it's been an amazing trip. It has, it's been a great road trip around the Panhandle. In our Airstream, we were able to park her right on the Gulf, I've learned. <laughs> and it was just a great way to see the Panhandle. It was a part of Florida I've never seen before. So much to offer. I think my favorite part, no offense to say. the other ones, Apalachicola, Woo. loved it so much. I think the Love oysters. Love the oysters. The oysters so had a lot to do with it. Yeah. And the white sand beach is everywhere. Oh, so pristine, so beautiful. But we'll always come back. Yes. Thanks so much, guys. As Thanks always, for watching. I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And we are Romero. And if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe below. Thanks so much.